I'm not gonna lie. Every time these two pop up on screen, I I, I feel more and more distant. Cause like they they don't seem personable at all when it comes down to it. They they do these videos to reach out to the community and um show the community that you know there's actual people behind the the uh the game of dislike i guess but these two ain't it like they don't seem like they vibe at all and me watching these videos i'm just i'm not even focused on the information i watched this video for the soulless look in his eyes and the bland commentary that she's giving I understand that they might have like a time limit or something and they can't do banter. But they might need to like loosen up the reins, bro, because I get it. They're at work, I guess. I don't know if they work for like Dislight or like their content creators or what the deal is. I'm not sure what the whole deal is behind this. I didn't pay attention to their whole um, beginning story or whatever. But <sighs> they might need to get someone to do this, bro. Like get some content creators. Like, give them, like, some Nexus Crystals or something. Get Zoxus, get Daddy Free to Play. Let them talk about stuff together. Like, I don't know how y'all gonna do it, bro. Like, change these two up. I'm sorry. They need to change. Um, This man has no emotion in his eyes when he's speaking about this stuff. He's just like, yeah, I'm here. I, I, I hate my job. Just play the game and shut up, please. I hate you all. That's what it feels like when he's speaking. Like, he's like, I can't believe they wrote me into this. I can't believe you've done this. Oh my god, bro. Like, anyway, version preview. Uh -huh. <laughs> because they decide to give us the highlights version of whatever the preview is that's coming up. Um, for the version that's coming up, I mean. Exciting content of version 3.1.7, a super mm -hmm. juicy version that bridges us into 2020. And it's not even like you know, the, her wearing a mask is part of the problem because I've seen people be expressive through masks throughout all of COVID, so that's not even part of the problem. They just don't engage with each other, they don't vibe with each other. It's like their vibe is neutral on both sides, and neither one of them is willing to budge. Three, let's begin. And what was that hand motion? I just got dark as hell back in the way, yes. I'm sorry. But like there was no there was no grounds for the hand motion. I'm sorry. We're not that cool, Tom. And like those versions, we will only release one new as far as time. You already got have clues in our recent community posts, so without further ado, let's welcome in Tron. In this version, a special Climb the Tower gameplay will be added, which is the Calamity Island. There are three tours unlocked in the Calamity Island. Oh, snap. Are the Flow, Inferno, and Wind, and you can challenge them one after another every week using experts of the designated attributes. It sure includes 200 floors, and you can challenge up to 10 floors daily. We're confident that you will put your formation making skills to the test. Okay. So that is new. I, I didn't worry I didn't realize that was gonna be a thing. I honestly didn't go through the patch notes as well as I should have. Like I skimmed it. I knew the resonance changes. I knew the Esper, and that's really all I cared about to be honest. And I knew about the, the fixes to Sicilian and stuff like that. That's all I really cared about. The extra content I didn't know about at all. Um, I know there's changes to like stamina and crap. Because I skimmed over Daddy Free to Pay's videos and Zox's videos. I know there's like a bunch of changes coming, but I don't know exactly what's in the changes. So that's crazy to me that they're adding pretty much like elemental towers, which is cool. My problem is um <laughs> some of these healers ain't the best <laughs> for their ta for um for their respective um thing. Like Wind has Ahmed. Inferno has Clara, but um, Flo, Flo has Sally. Flo has Sally. That's all I gotta say, bro. <laughs> Tower 
Startup waiting for you, Automaton friends. A new feature you have asked for for a long time is finally making it into this slide. Please. This will allow you to proceed to an instant auto battle if you meet the scale requirements and have enough memory chips. Both can be obtained through daily tasks, events, and purchases. I'm not gonna lie, time really makes me not want to play this like anymore. <laughs> I love the game, but bro, his unenthusiasm, like the amount of enthusiasm he lacks is just. It's like, this is my job, I get paid for it. I don't want to be here more than any more than the rest of us. Bruh. We'll find out the truth about an accident caused by Yuntra years ago at a high security prison called the Nether Jail. By the way, if you enjoy using Yuntra in this event, you can choose him as the event as for via a brand new wish system. I feel like she would be dope, like, with someone else. Like, I feel like if they let her talk to someone else while they were doing this, make little jokes or something, I feel like they would vibe very well. But Tom just isn't it. Devs have listened to your suggestion and episode 2 of Esther Fuse is coming. The rules are the same and so are the rewards. So don't miss this opportunity to customize two 6 star flawless relics to your liking. Every year during the Saucius Festival, the Esper Union decorates the Central District with beautiful lanterns and holds the Saucius City Night event to celebrate the festival. During this event, you must log in for the required amount of days to light up the lanterns and claim the corresponding rewards. Speaking of Solstice, we are also releasing a very fashionable skin for Berenice called Gyrate Solstice, which you can get via this month and pass. Our character design Nothing in this video, nothing in this update excites him at all. You hear a little bit of excitement in her voice, but him, he's just like, yeah, this shit's coming out, bro. What, what you want me to do about it? <laughs> it's never disappointing. The thumbs up. I hate it here. <laughs> you know, his face does not match what he's doing, like, at all. I get it. Some people don't have the ability to express themselves with their face but this this is a work of art <laughs> major versions come with significant changes so we are glad to announce you'll finally be able to enjoy a new epic opening scene focused on Untran's lore which will replace Abigail's and her impressively sexy legs they'll be remembered all right, that's all for today. We know everyone is super excited about the coming update as numerous changes will happen. And we know it could be a little bit overwhelming. We suggest you take your time and read carefully the recent community posts that will elaborate on the detail. We hope this update will meet and even exceed your expectations. Merry Christmas. A happy new year. And we will we'll see you next year. Bye. His eyes, bro, his eyes just are just like, I hate it here. I'm dead to the world. Please, someone take this off my plate. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Like, his eyes are just like, I am Tom. I'm here to do a job. Like, let me, let me get the character. This new update on this light is very exciting for us. That's what it feels like, bro. I... I'm sorry. He might be a cool person, like outside of this, but in this, bro, I didn't expect to make a whole video chopping on Tom. I'm sorry. I I didn't expect this to happen, but it ended up happening, and I apologize. I mean, like I said, Tom might be a cool person outside of this this job that he's doing. Outside of this thing that he's made to do. <laughs> but this just does not suit Tom at all. God. I like the dislight outfits though. Like, let me get one of them sweaters, bro. Hold up. Do we get merch as content creators? Like, what? I'm in the content creator program, but I haven't seen any type of gifts from them. Like, I want some merch. 
crack as hell. Like the screen went black and I disappeared. Let me let me turn the lights back on. <laughs> but yeah, just like where are my merch at, bro? Like, I want a sweater. I I want a sweater. The sweater looks dope. Like if you change the the lightning bolt to be like holographic, how it is on the game and stuff, I would definitely rock that. I don't care if it's pink, bro. I would rock it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll hit you guys in the next video. I'm sorry for roasting Tom. A lot of you might love Tom, but Tom ain't it for me. Peace out.